Hello, Soul Garden family, and welcome back to another episode of Meditation Vibration. I'm your Mindful Cruise director, Julie Zipper, and here we are. We're in the last week of Cancer, but then we're going to transition into Leo. And so I wanted to kind of give a hybrid show here and have all the goody goodness of Cancer with the beginning goody goodness of Leo. And happy birthday, all you Leos, early, because I know you like it early. Yay! All right, so let's talk about this solar eclipse that we had on July 11th. Woo! Holy Mother Father God, thank you Jesus. I mean, every expression, I personally felt birthed. I felt opened, I felt birthed anew, felt really, really good. And what I'm noticing in all my clients, in all my students, is that they're opening up as well. It was a huge heart chakra opener, I believe, and that's what I'm experiencing. So. What a beautiful transition to use this solar eclipse that has opened us up in the heart chakra, moving into Leo, which is all about the heart chakra. So it's perfect. And I'd love to know what you experienced with this solar eclipse in Cancer. What is it bringing up for you? And you might not um, have, have this knowingness that, oh, it's opened my heart chakra, but are you noticing that you're feeling things more deeply? Are you noticing that you feel people's energies a little bit more? And, and, and that might be that you're noticing negative energies a little bit more, but just stay open to it. What am I feeling here? Am I actually feeling the energy of the room? Is this me or am I feeling the energy of the room? Is this my stuff or am I feeling the energy of this person that I'm with? Just notice and let me know what you, what you think, feel, okay? What your experience is. So what I'd like to do over the next four weeks is dive into this heart chakra opening love, goodness, awesomeness. And the way that really speaks to me to do that is to get out into Mother Nature. Um, and it doesn't even have to be Mother Nature. We'll use, we'll, we'll, I'll give you the Mother Nature way to do it and I'll give you a way to do it at home in your bedroom or wherever it is that you want to do it. But I want to get creative with our meditations. Meditation is not a technique. It is a state of being. It is a state of awareness that is our natural state. We're born knowing how to access this state because we're born in this state, just being so in the now. Watch a baby. They're so in the present moment. They're so, you know, just all of a sudden, oh my goodness, what is this? These are my, what is this? What do they do? How do these work? right? That's that wonderful meditative state. And you can use any technique you want. You can do a sitting meditation. That's the one that we all have all come to kind of know and identify in our minds as a meditation practice. You can do it eating. You can do it walking. You can do it snorkeling. <laughs> Anything. The world is your meditation oyster. So, now that we're transitioning from the water of Cancer into the fire of Leo, I want to encourage you guys to get out into water for this next week. Use water as your meditation practice. So how would this work? Well, you have a swimming pool, maybe. You have a bathtub, maybe. Maybe you live by the ocean or by a lake. And this is what I want to encourage you to do. Hmm. When you're in this water, be it the bathtub or the ocean. Just feel it. Be present with it. Be in the now moment with it. What does it feel like on your skin? Does it feel cool? Can you feel the contrast? Or is it kind of the temperature of your skin? And, it, and you kind of go, whoa, where does my skin end and this water begin? Be super present just as a child would with this water. Get to know it on a new level, in a new way. And then, and I don't know if you've ever done this before, but I love doing this, especially in still water. So maybe not the ocean for me personally or for you. Uh, if, if you are an ocean person, go for it. But in still water, what I love to do is once I've had this connection to the water, then just to submerge myself completely and just to be still and my breath has stopped clearly, and my, I can feel my hair floating in the water, and I can feel maybe a gentle 
current or maybe just a slight movement. I can feel my body start to rise towards the surface a little bit. Just be in that. Be in that absolute stillness, that womb-like environment that water holds for us. And use that as your meditation practice. And let me know how it goes. And let me know if you feel your heart start to open a little bit more, right? We're accessing this inner child within us that knows how to be present at all times. So what does that feel like? Mm. And actually, it feels a little bit weird not even going into this meditation space with y'all, so let's do that. Mm. Close your eyes and just imagine that you are surrounded by beautiful, clear, pure, still water. Right? Even if you can't get out into water, you can use your beautiful imagination for it. And just as you inhale, maybe even imagining that your inhale is like an ocean wave going up and your exhale is like the ocean wave going down. And so this nice ebb and flow. And as you're breathing, as you're being in this ocean wave type movement rhythm, if you have any thoughts, just imagine that the ocean wave takes that thought and carries it to shore. And you can even imagine that that water is inside of you, washing you clean, clearing away all the old, preparing your field for all the newness that is coming into your life, all the newness that you have called in for yourself. And so just be in this water meditation for as long as you choose. And then your invitation for this week is to go get an actual water and have your practice be in that. Okay, until next week, live, love, be. So God.